Hi, welcome to Classic Guitar Rock. Jeremy back in the basement with our second lesson on the major scale modes. And in this go round, we will talk about the uh, the second position or the Dorian mode pattern. So stand by. We'll learn the second pattern, the Dorian mode pattern in this lesson. First, let me review the first pattern, the Ionian mode or the major scale pattern. Remember, we're doing this in the key of G, and the first position, or uh, Ionian pattern, looked like this. All right. Played um, in the root, we start there, so in the key of G, the root is the sixth string, third fret, uh, that is a, a major scale, or the Ionian mode. The second pattern uh, overlaps with that, just like in the pentatonic box pattern. The second pattern is going to look like this. It's going to be based on the uh, second note of the major scale. In the key of G, that would be an A, and it's going to look like this. It's going to be a uh, sixth string, fifth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret, fifth string, uh, fifth fret, seventh fret, fourth string, fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, third string, fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. 2nd string, 5th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret, and then the high E string or 1st string, 5th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret. So let's play that up to speed, or, or a little quicker anyways. Right? So here's where it gets fun. Because that second pattern is either a continuation of the G Ionian mode, okay, or it is the A Dorian minor mode. It just depends on. Um, what we're playing it against, okay? So let me show you what I mean. So now I have two positions that I can play in G major. See, it's all still the same notes. Those could be against a G. Whoops, I played that wrong. That could be against a G, or, listen, I could play it against an A. An A Dorian minor, okay? I've got two shapes. I can use both, both of those shapes because they, they overlap with each other. So I can either play that as a G, major or Ionian mode or as a uh, A Dorian mode. So that's what what you'll begin to see then as I add each of these patterns it just expands what I can do uh, in whatever key I'm playing. And whatever pattern I choose to put in my root position that will determine the mode I'm in. Okay, so let me give you an example. What if I take this shape that I just learned, okay? That's an A Dorian minor shape. Well, let's just move that shape back to G. So instead of playing a G major, I'm gonna play a G Dorian minor.
Okay, so I basically shifted everything back two frets. And and just like um, I was able to play the the uh, Ionian pattern right before that Dorian pattern, I can still do that. It's just that that Ionian pattern now is shifted back two frets because I'm in I'm in the key of G Dorian. So now I can play the Dorian shape here or play that Ionian shape back here, but I'm still in the Dorian mode. So now it has that Dorian feel. Okay, so I'm going to play two examples for you. We we know two boxes now. My first example is going to be G Ionian, so it's going to be a major scale. And then after that, I'll I'll do it as a G Dorian minor. And I want you to just listen, get your ears used to to what I what I'm playing, and you'll see the difference between the uh, G major or Ionian and the G Dorian. So sit tight here for just a sec. And again, I'm just noodling. This is I'm, I'm no uh, maestro here, but this will give you give you an idea. So listen to this. This is going to be the G Ionian mode, but now I've got two boxes to work with, so that will allow me to play a little more than than I was able to in the last lesson when I just had the one box. Here goes. Whoops. Let me start over here. Here we go. Remember, very happy sound uh, with the Ionian mode. So this next one will be an example of G. I'm moving it back to G. So now I'm I'm using that second pattern that we just learned, but I'm moving it back here to G. Okay. So. Now this will become a G Dorian, and remember I've got that first pattern that's now shift back, shifted back two frets also. So now you'll see me play in this new box we've learned, and I'll come back here and use that original Ionian shape uh, to play in a G uh, Dorian minor uh, little vamp here. So let's do the same thing here, back up, and you'll hear the difference between a G Dorian minor and a G major. Here goes.
All right, so you see the difference there between the uh, Dorian minor and the um, Ionian major modes. And you'll also see that as we add each new block, it, uh, it opens up the fretboard for us. And I can, I can play in any mode just by using that, that pattern in that root position. And you'll also see, you know, if you think about it, even staying in one position, okay, I could basically play um, in any key if, if I start at the right place uh, in that scale. Because as I start at a different place, remember my intervals are different. So the sound of that scale will be different. So there's really a lot going on uh, beneath these modes. So, so the better grasp you have uh, on the modes, the better. And, and I really like what uh, Joe Satriani said about modes. He said, you should learn the modes and understand that, you know, when you're playing a G-Ionian, that lurking underneath that is also an A-Dorian. Uh, or, or uh, yeah, an, an A Dorian minor um, and an, uh, an A sharp uh, Phrygian and, and all of those related uh, modes. And he said to, d to develop an opinion about each mode. And you can only develop an opinion or have a feel for those modes if you spend some time playing those and, and practicing those modes. So dig into those and, and spend some time. On our next lesson, we'll learn the next pattern which will again just expand um, our capabilities within the, the modes we've already learned, but will, will give us a new mode uh, and, the, and the new pattern that we've learned, we can use the old patterns we've already learned in that new mode as well. So it, it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And we'll talk to you on the next Classic Guitar Rock. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.